Of course, most of the war now is is con confined to the, the the far east of the country. You've pushed Russia back. How long will it take for you to expel Russia completely from your territory? What sort of assistance can you reasonably expect from Western countries to make that happen? Well, I should say that Ukrainian army, Ukrainian defenders are doing amazing things. Uh, they are pretty much uh, a part of the magic. They are doing a part of the magic. But without Western assistance, uh, including the military assistance, we would not be able to defend ourselves. And I would like to take this chance and to thank all Australian people and Australian politicians for uh, taking leadership here as well. Over these two years, uh, Australia have passed uh, the assistance, including military assistance, for uh, for about one billion of Australian dollars, and this is very important because this is your input in actually uh, uh, in civilized world in uh, global safety. Because we are fighting. This is not the war between Ukraine and Russia. This became a, a, civil, a war between civilization, a war between democratic world, and between the world which uh, finds it okay to invade the neighbors, to kill families to uh, torture civilians and stuff like that. Yeah, you're uh, right. Ukrainian it's a... army is it's... doing great. Over the two years, uh, basically, Russians have lost 400,000 uh, of their soldiers here in Ukraine. It is more than uh, United, uh, the, than uh, uh, USSR have lost in Afghanistan over 10 years. So you can imagine the intensity of uh, of this war and the suffer that Ukrainian people go through. And once again, uh, this is very important that uh, Australian people and Australian political leaders remain with Ukraine, remain supporting Ukraine. Moreover, I, uh, I would like to mention that actually uh, in uh, July of 2022, Australian Prime Minister Tony um, Albanese have visited Ukraine. And this was the first a uh, high visit um, um, of the of our bilateral uh, Indeed. basically relay yeah over the oh. uh, over the 30 years of ukrainian independence so it's very important sign but it's very important also to continue both economic uh, pressure on russia sanction pressure as well as military support uh, to ukraine indeed and and and, and, and we will continue I, to argue for that that here helena i just want to briefly before i let you go get your thoughts a lot of this is, is due to the crazy aspirations, the nationalist, imperialist attitude of Vladimir Putin. Do you think that the death of Alexei Navalny recently and the publicity that's getting around the world might be a, a window, give the world a bit of a window into what sort of an evil dictator Vladimir Putin is? Could this help your cause? Um, I really hope so. I feel sorry for Navalny and his family, but I hope that it will basically help uh, Western leaders to wake up from their dreams, uh, wake up from their naive um, um, hope that you can actually have some negotiations with Putin, or Putin can change, or, or Putin wants to, uh, to, to stop war or start uh, respecting his own people. No, he is not. None. He is a totalitarian leader. And basically, by tolerating that or by um, being reluctant with uh, military or other assistance to Ukraine, you are sending uh, a bad message to all world, but also to the population of, uh, of the civilized Western democratic countries. And that's why we see this... Uh, some negative tendencies, I would say, in some European countries, when populist or pro-Russian political uh, parties are starting to win uh, democratic elections or they are raising more um, popularity or more support from people. This is very, uh, very negative tendency. And yeah. in order to stop, it, in order to make sure that democracy remains the main force or the main, um, uh, the main ideology in the world, it should show that it uh, can protect itself. The democracy yep. can protect itself. Well, it's strong. Well said, Elena. Thank you so much for speaking to us again, and uh, we wish you uh, uh, a safe uh, safety and strength for many, many Thank years you. to come. Thank you, Helene.
Yangchenko there, who's a Ukrainian MP. You've heard that. She's also a young mother who has been separated from her children for the past two years to keep them safe.